we're Two Crafty Sheilas. I'm Belle and I've got Loz on the line and today I was going to do an unboxing for you all. I thought this one was really, really appropriate timing with, you know, the fact that we're in September coming up to October. Um, so this is a Dreamer Designs kit and this one is Halloween Gnome and Cat. By oh, Mac my goodness. That is so cute. Oh, I'm in love. Yeah. I don't know if everyone's seen, but with Dreamer Designs, you can get the really big canvases from their American uh, warehouse. The They've now brought out an overseas collection, which are a little bit of the smaller canvases, and they're shipped immediately from China. Um, so for us here in Australia, this is actually quite advantageous. It got to me a little bit faster than it comes through, through from the US. So I wasn't complaining. I did notice for some reason, though, that this seemed to take like about five working days before they even shipped it. So there was a mm. delay picking it. Um, but once I'd sent it, it was here in just over a week. So it was really, really fast. But it was, yeah, that, I just noticed that that was the difference. Whereas from the US, it's usually shipped within a day or two of me ordering it and then you know, the time's then taken for it to come over and get through customs and everything. So just different, different. Yeah, anyway, um, it? it was, it was. So it still ended up being, I think the last time I got Dream and Designs, the big ones, I think it took nearly three weeks to get to me. This one took just over two. So it did shrink it by about two or three working days. But, yeah, it was the picking time that I noticed the difference. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so this gorgeous kit. So now the other thing that I did notice with this when I pulled it out of the box it came in, because um, I did buy two canvases. So with this, I don't know if you remember with Dreamer Designs, they've got that really cool little clear handle that goes on the side of the box. Yeah. With the overseas ones, they've got the holes for it, but they don't actually have the handle. Oh, okay. So... I assume that's part of what they do in the warehouse in the US. So it was just different. It was interesting. It didn't phase me. I'm not that concerned. It's a small canvas. It'll be fine. Um, but, yeah, I did notice that was a little bit different too. Were both um, anyway. like that? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So I'll definitely show it again in the other one that I end up doing. But, yeah, no, just interesting. Um, okay, so with the Dreamer Design Canvas, obviously everything is labelled with their logo, which is Paint with Passion. Um, they talk about the fact that, you know, they're a licensed premium diamond painting company. They've got a QR code that you can scan for all 15% off. And they've got step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint. Um, and then reasons why we should. But I think if you're a diamond painter, you know why we should be doing this. <laughs> all right, so... All right, so with Dreamer Designs, in their box, you always get it with a little, um, what is this, like canvas bag? I don't know, what what material is that? I don't know, it feels, don't know. it's a bit of a mix of like polyester hessian in a way, isn't it? It's, yes, I have no that's idea. That's a fair description. Yeah, <laughs> let's go with a polyester okay, hessian. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, yeah. as you can see, it's a little bit see-through, which is why we're going to call it a polyester hessian bag. Um, <laughs> so, it's even got the logo on the front of it and everything about Dream Designs, their colour is purple. So, everything is going to be colour-coordinated to match with that. Okay. They always, 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 oh, I do love the feel of that canvas. It's really soft. Oh, gorgeous. they're incredible, um, aren't they? They are. They feel so good. Um, yeah, no, that's lovely. So they always have it wrapped in a, a beautiful ribbon. I can never get it to the the same wrapping ability, but that's okay. We'll make this work. <laughs> All right. Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Whoa, look at the colours. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is so cute. Just a great little size. It is slightly curling, so I'm just going to very quickly roll it back just so that you can see it better. Um, but, and that drill quality, that's a drill quality. They, yeah. Symbol, clarity. 
Like, look at that. That is so crystal clear. And look at all that color block. You'd love this kit. Oh, I know. I'm going to get it. That's just beautiful. I will be. It is so beautiful. Oh, well, I know I you it. don't mind your gnomes either. So it's, it's a really cute little kit. All righty. So in the toolkit, so this is a really, really soft, almost like a velveteen type bag. It's a really, really nice feel. Um, but let's have a look at their toolkit. Okay. Uh, oh, hello. So instead of their purple tray, this is like a really pale pink. Oh, it's that about the same size. Cute. It's the same size as the other, and it is still branded on the back um, and the same spout, which is probably the only thing I really hate about this tray. Um, but yeah, it's a different color. So that's obviously how they distinguish between the overseas kits. Yeah, that's cool. Bag of baggies. So not too bad. Oh, with the tray. We've got a tray divider in here. So that can just go in there, which means you can actually have two colours at the same time. And if you've got a bit of a collection of Dream Designs kits like I'm starting to, you could probably have quite a few different dividers in there and have multiples. <laughs> All right. We've oh, got dear. our branded tweezers. I know, isn't this terrible? We're already getting a decent stash <laughs> Oh, very, very, very sharp. <laughs> Definitely be cautious with these and keep that cover on it because these ones are sharp ones. All right. Now, with our pens, so we get two squishies in their beautiful purple, and then we get two pens. Now, this one is a little bit of, let's see if I can get it to focus. It's a little bit of a thicker tip. No, it's not going to focus. I'm going to focus on me. Um, so this one is actually better for ABs um, as opposed to, just as a comparison, so this one's your normal brass tip. So it's just a little bit smaller. It's a little bit harder to sometimes place your ABs. Um, and that brass can sort of scratch on the surface a little bit. Oh, that was, yeah, that was a little bit of a task. How's this one? I always find this tip's are easier to get the cover on, uh, the grip on for some reason. I don't know why. You reckon, is it smaller? No, it's the same pen at the base. It's just the tip that's different. Oh, I know what it is. So this has like a flush finish. This has a little bit of a ridged one. Ah, yeah. yeah. So that'll be what it is. Good detective. Work. Um, now for our multi places. So we get a little. I'm going to say a three placer. These are the thicker ones. So they're not the ones that I enjoy quite as much. And that looks either a six or a seven placer, I'd say. But again, the thicker type. Um, but they always do actually come with a straightener. So this is just to help you straighten up your drills if you multi-place and you can't get them to line up nice and straight you can always just sort of run your your straightener through it um so the trick i usually use is i usually put the straightener on the bottom of my ab pen and then whatever normal multi-place tip i want to use i use at the end of my single placer. So. but whatever works for you okay you also get two little caddies of dreamer designs purple wax of course it's purple because it's dream designs um and in each of these just remember that there is a plastic cover on both the top and the bottom so make sure that you do remove that before you try and uh, fill your pens if you use the wax okay so we've got a little instruction booklet on how to do diamond painting um, with their symbol again and their logo, which is Paint With Passion. Um, thank you for your purchase. Some tips and tricks, instructions, and another QR code to be able to scan. And on the back, there's uh, their social information. So if you want to jump on the Facebook group once you've made a purchase, you're more than welcome to. It's a really nice um, community. That, that Dream Designs have on their Facebook group. It's, it's actually quite welcoming and quite supportive. They are, and they share a lot, don't they, of, of all their they do. progress and they're accepting of help and they, yes. they're happy to give advice. It is really a nice community. I agree. It's Good lovely. To one, the one to go and join. Yes. There's a couple of brands that I'm finding that are, are like that, but Dream Designs is definitely one of the really good ones. Yeah. 
All righty. So this is our um, sticker sheet. So this one you can peel back just the smaller bit um, and that one can go in your logbook if you keep a paper logbook. Um, it's got the it's Halloween Gnome and Cat by Makiko. It is a licensed artwork, which does mean that at least the artist is being paid for their design. It is around and it's a 40 by 50 and you can pop your star and your end date in. And then they've got some really fun little stickers that you can decorate anything and everything or give to your kids and they can decorate the house for you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know yeah. how often you've had that one, Loz. I've had that a few times oh, already. You should see my son's room. It's full of Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has he got well, a few diamond painting stickers? Okay. Has he got a few diamond painting stickers? No, not yet. I hide them. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We we need to fix that, Loz. We need to fix that. Oh no, my daughter's <laughs> got the the paw prints everywhere. So yeah, oh, cool. let's add some more. <laughs> <laughs> now these stickers are individually cut so that if you do kit up into baggies or containers. Um, you'll be able to just pop that straight on the container and it's pretty good. I will say I've done a couple of these now and I find that these stickers are super sticky. Um, so some of the other brands that I've used, like they end up lifting a fair bit. These don't. And I end up having to sometimes use like a bit of eucalyptus oil to actually clear off the sticky at the end. So, again, oh, just that's interesting. Interesting. It's not a problem, it's easy fixed, but just different. Mm. All right, so we've got 48 colours. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so one, two, three are uh, AB slash AAs. One, two, three, four, five, six are, uh, I'm going to say crystals or rhinestones because they're an LZ. Wow. Whoa, okay. That's incredible. That's amazing. Okay, let's have a look at these babies. Oh, let's go around the canvas. I am so bad at unboxings. Apologies, guys. Um, <laughs> okay. You like the sparklies. <laughs> I do. I really want to get in. Um, okay, so at the top we've got a, another picture of the image with Halloween gnome and cat. Again, the licensing information, and it's a 40 by 50. These are the social details again. Um, we've got two legends, one on the top, one on the bottom on each side. So at least that way you've always got access to a legend. Not that it's an overly huge kit, but that's still cool. Um, we've got a lifetime guarantee. So if you're the original purchaser of one of these kits and you don't have enough drills or you spill them or something goes wrong and, you you know, all of those things, um, they will actually help to provide you with some free replacement drills. So that's a pretty good, pretty good service that they offer. Um, and, again, our symbol and our logo. So let's have a look at the drills. So they come pre-bagged in all their little baggies. I can see some 310, not that I'm particularly surprised considering it's a Halloween kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's going to be our background colour. Look at that thick back there. Anyway. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I know. This one isn't stickered on the front to tell you what kit it is at all. There's no. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's interesting because they usually do that, don't they? They do. Again, maybe that's something they do in their warehouse in America. In America, yeah. Yep. Get that again, out again. The end of the world. I can no. store it in the box. The box isn't huge, but different. All right. Let's go straight to the back and just find all these lovely ABs. All right. 40 to 48. All right. Just to show. And you notice that the... they're in baggies? Because Boomer yes. Designs usually come in those heat sealed ones too. They do. They do. So again, I'm wondering if it's because it's being shipped direct from overseas that yeah. it's just sort of changed what they're doing. I don't know. But interesting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All right. So just have a look at the drill quality. So this is the Black 310. Um, and interesting, again, that it doesn't have the DMC number on it only the number ah. of the drill to match up on the canvas. Um, so you definitely do need your legend or your sticker sheets. So yeah. even if you use these bags, I think you're going to have to add these onto it so that you know which is which. Yep, I think so. Again, not not the end of the world, but different. No. And I usually put up into like Elizabeth Ward containers or the Tic Tac containers. So either way, I don't have them in the original bags to start with, so it's not 
it's not a huge deal. Um, but anyway, so this is the black. So there's a fair bit of black in there, 310. You can see there's still pretty shiny. I'm look, there's oh. a there's hardly that any traction at all. And that's not much um, 310. No, I think there's more of the oh, I'm gonna assume it's the 939. Oh, I'll pull that one out. Yeah. Um, but I'm not seeing like it's not staticky. Like that's that's moving pretty freely. And I'm really not seeing much trash, which is nice. I think they've done a bit of improvement on some of their drills. So I oh, there's one there. there's one manky one there. Um, yeah. but I can handle that. I can handle one. That's fine. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Um, the one that's got a ton of drills. Oh, there's two. 24 and 25. 820 and 823. Sorry, there's a fair chunk of them. Oh, nice. They're lovely colours. But I think they're just going to be a lot of the background and probably a little bit in his um, wizard hat too. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the pretties. Okay. So now they will start with the AB slash AAs. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. We here in Down Under like to call them the Aurora Australis. So they're AAs to us. <laughs> um, but this one is a beautiful little purple. And you can see that on top of them, this is a quite a subtle one, but you can still see that there's a little bit of extra glisten and shine, a little bit of change of the colours on there. Um, and that's just that AB or AA coating that goes on the top. It just makes them that little bit more obvious and, and blingy, shall we say. So that's a pretty one. Um, oh, and I love this purple. So this oh, is yeah. this is 208. So the other one was just an 01. So I'm not sure exactly what color that matches, but this is a 208. So that's beautiful. And it's got those sort of like peacocky colors on that coating. And a reasonable bag size for that one. This is 209. So Again, it's a little bit more subtle and just a little bit paler than the other one, but still quite a quite a pretty one, really. All right, now we get into our rhinestones. Beautiful. So this is for LZ444. So it's, you can see you've got your mirrored backing and then you've got this sort of like clear gemstone -y type thing that goes on the top to really give it some shine. That's a pretty colour. I like that one. Mm, you'll like this one more, I think. Uh, four, four, five. <laughs> oh yes, I'm a sucker for a good yellow. That's what I thought. This is like a almost like a lemon yellow. It's really mm. pretty. Oh, now we're getting into some of our reds. So, oh, this is six, six, six. Beautiful. I can see like one that maybe the no, come on, focus one. You can see one there that the back backing is a little bit janky, but again, you can handle one. It's not a big deal. They give you enough extras. Yeah. Uh, this is 741. So this is more of like your orange. So it, it looks a little bit more subtle. It's almost like a dirty orange, really. Like burnt orange is probably the better burnt way. Burnt orange, it. yeah. Not dirty. Sorry, sorry. Dirty, <laughs> dirty orange. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Uh, 742. <laughs> So again, this is a darker burnt orange. Oh, so that way maybe you can see a bit more of the colour. There we go. That's pretty. Nice colours. Mm. And ooh, this is 5200. So 5200 is like the white. So look at the glisten oh, and shine on that. That is gorgeous. Oh, I like that one. Okay, let's have a look where they go. All right, we'll start with number 40, which is that pale purple, the AB01. Now, it's the one symbol. Yay, we're in a number. Okay. <laughs> so it's the really, really pale purple that's sort of around the hat on the edge of his cloak and those sorts of things. So pretty much standard where I expected it to be. That's that's really nice. I like that. Um, okay, the next one was the darkest of the three purples. So that one's the 208. And that's symbol number four. Again, again, you've sort of got it around it. And I'm even going to do, I'm just going to hold it up this way. So there are your three shades of purple. They're basically oh. all going to go next week. Oh, so okay. you've got light purple, that medium purple, and the darker purple here. 
you've got the light purple, medium purple surrounding it, dark purple around it. Oh, incredible. All through here. All through here. Sorry, it's just going to be easy to do them all together. Um, but that's just going to be beautiful. So there's none of the really dark purple down in this bit. It's just the lighter ones. But like his his jacket, coat, cloak, whatever, um, the sleeve and the, the hat is definitely going to have the three of them. So that's nice. Hmm. All right, and then we go straight into our crystals or rhinestones. So let's start with 444, which was that first one we looked at, that goldy yellow. And it's the squiggly line with the straight line underneath it. So I think that means approximately equal to for memory. Um, <laughs> that one is, ooh, okay. So expecting, where, where would you expect it to be, Loss? going to be in the moon and the the um the faces of the pumpkin so not so much the faces of the pumpkins but it oh. is next to the pumpkin so it's sort of all here oh. there is a little bit in this one so there's okay. just a little bit on the side so if you can see the the darker more obvious brighter yellow there oh, right those right. so it's just a little bit on the sides there um, and in that eye of the jack o' lantern, no, nose, eye, nose, 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 nose of the jack o' lantern. Nice. Um, but <laughs> check out this section of the moon, that entire oh, area, oh, wow, and this entire area where it's not black. Oh, that's incredible. How much is that going to shine? There's another chunk of it there. Wow. Be this thing is going to glisten. Oh. Wow. I need okay. to go and get it. <laughs> and then, oh, how good is this going to be? Okay. So this one, that that more lemon yellow, your yeah. favourite one. Okay. It's mm. the symbol with the letter Q. Everywhere else. In that jack o' lantern, oh, in the eyes, in the nose, wow. all of that, all of the ones over here, and all the ones over here. That is everywhere. You've got a little bit around the buckle and around the eyes of the cat. But again, check out the chunk. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. And even around the buckle on the gnome's hat. Wow, that is intense oh i love that i like that i think that's perfect placement for crystals isn't it yes the right artwork for it and everything oh how awesome. wow okay i'm going to skip over a couple and i'm going to go straight to the darkest burnt orange one so that's the 742 and it's i'm going to call it the bottom of the arrow or the tree whatever that symbol is Oh, yeah, the tree, pine tree. Yeah, pine tree. Good. I'm not the only one who calls it a pine tree. Um, no. <laughs> so, again, it's like the last of the edging around the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern and a little bit on, like, the the autumn leaves, like, obviously, where there's the light glow from the jack-o'-lantern. Um, so the rest of it through here, through here, a little bit through this section, that whole section of the cat. But, again that chunk that yeah. chunk that whole chunk that, <laughs> that chunk awesome. and then to finish it off with the moon that one so the lighter burnt orange one which was 741 is like you're pointing down to the bottom right corner arrow yeah again little bits of it on the leaves sort of near the the jack-o-lanterns a little bit down here, a little bit through here, a little bit on the side here, but here next to, oh, sorry, next to the cat's hat, this whole chunk. <laughs> this so good. whole chunk. And then patches of even the autumn leaf up the top. So essentially that entire moon is going to be rhinestones. That is great. Oh, what my awesome gosh. Rendering. 
That is phenomenal. <laughs> and That's so much so even awesome. in the jack o' lanterns. Wow. You look amazing. I have no idea. I have never actually used the rhinestones before. I have okay. no idea how to place them. <laughs> I hope oh, I can no, use them. They're, they're exactly the same. I think they work better with your um, with the glue and stuff. It doesn't. Okay. I've never had any issues. Okay. I'm yeah. just hoping like the wax or the the putty will be able to pick uh, it up. I'll have to have it. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, there's no okay. problems with that. Yeah. For you. Oh, that's right. You've done a yeah, recent mate. kit that had a heap in it. Okay. Yeah, I've had a few with the, the crystals, yeah. And the kit that we're never talking of again, that one? Yes. 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 You'll have to see that our upcoming. Shall not be named. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to see our uh, finishes video to know which one we're talking about, which will yeah. be coming out this weekend. Anyway, um, so we're going to do the bright red, the 666. So that one is, I'm going to call it like the Swiss plus flag. Yes, yes. Um, so we've got a little bit through this leaf down here. We've got massive big band of it across the cat's hat and a fair bit of it sort of edging around that leaf and a little bit around this leaf and a little bit around this leaf. So, wow, that's going to shine. But interestingly, none in the pumpkins. Yeah, you don't want to overwhelm it, do you? You want the, <laughs> the light to be brighter. Yeah, and, I mean, you don't need to overwhelm it with the moon. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, I don't think it would work. But didn't you have in that library one that you had all the jack o yes. had, they were quite overwhelming, wasn't it? It was overwhelming to right. do. It was overwhelming to do because yeah. I do struggle with ABs using wax and putty. Um, so I had to single yeah. place all of them. That was my biggest issue. Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was like an entire row of, you know, like a 14-centimetre section, an entire row across the canvas that was 90% mm. ABs. Yeah. I mean, the end result, <laughs> I love that. That was a fantastic kit. I absolutely adore that final result. But placing it was slow because I had to do it single placing. Yeah. 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 Oh, Sorry, our lovely 5200, our beautiful, beautiful crystals. I love those ones. They are so good. They are the symbol O and, you know, 50 points for anyone who can guess. Cat's chest, a little bit around the cat's nose, patches of it all through the gnome's beard. There's just huge chunks of it. Um, and then the stars. Oh, nice. They're all going to be that clear crystal. Wow. That's a, you need sunglasses for this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're going to have to do like dim mood lighting just so that we yeah. don't go blind. <laughs> wow. That is phenomenal. I am so excited to do this. Oh, lucky duck. Okay. So I, I think this is it. the right time of the year to do it. This is definitely coming up on Halloween. And I think I need to give this one a go. I really don't need to start a new week, so. but I'm going to anyway. You go. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> but yeah, oh wow, I'm so excited with this one. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you did. Um, if you like what we're doing and you know the the absolute skill that I have at doing an unboxing video, <laughs> please subscribe to us and follow us along. Mama, you think you get better. <laughs> And my son is just announcing he's watching Despicable Me. How exciting. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I love that movie. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I know. It's one of our favourites. Um, <laughs> yes. So, sorry, that's now throwing me a curveball. So don't forget to like, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and um, give us that good old thumbs up. The Tell me, have you done this kit? Have you bought this kit? Is it in your stash? I, I haven't seen anybody posting any pics of it in the uh, Facebook page, but I'm really, really keen to see it. So tell me if you do. Um, maybe we can do it together. So I hope you all have a really, really good week and we will see you in an unboxing very, very soon. Thanks, guys. See you later.